never set out to say, I'm going to be a Hall of Famer. All you do is you go to work every day in the classroom, you go to work out here on the football field, and you just do your best. And I think sometimes when you do your best, you actually get a little help. You do a whole bunch of other little things that's going to help you along with your teammates. And those guys make you look so much better than you really are. And then when you get that call, say, hey, you're going to be a Hall of Famer, it's just really humbling. They talk a lot about the Bo Jackson play. And you know, that play there, I had overran Bo Jackson, made a mistake, and I knew that couldn't nobody else go catch him but me. I was back there, so I, I got a chance to do that, and he happened to break his collarbone on that play. He was gonna win the Heisman Trophy, he won it the next year. And then, even against SMU and Eric Dickerson, them, those guys were, you know, they were top of their game, and we had to be at the top of ours. And you know, when to go down to Dallas and beat SMU down there, that's huge. Got a chance to play against, you know, other teams like Arkansas. You know, I remember my freshman year, we lost them 42 to 11. And then, you know what, that was the worst feeling you ever want to see, but we never lost him again. You know, and there are certain teams that we've never lost to when we was in the Southwest Conference. So we, we want to say, you know what, we're the standard of football. And whoever comes here, you got to play that way. You got to have that type of attitude, and our guys done that. But you know, when you're in high school, you probably, I think I would play it in front of about maybe the most 5,000. Then when I got here, it was about 70. And they said, you know what, don't look in the stands because you're probably fainting. It's probably going to be like that now. You got 100,000 fans out. They're looking at you and saying, you know what, the guy made a Hall of Fame. And really, you just did your job. That's really what I, I, I'll tell them. You just did your job. If you do the job the best of your ability, you get lucky enough, you might make Hall of Fame. Two-time first team All-America from 1981 to 84 as a defensive back for Texas, twice honored as Southwest Conference Player of the Year. Congratulations, Derry Gray. Thank you very much. You know, just like most of the guys say, you, you, when you grow up, you really don't think that, you know, you're trying to be an individual, you're trying to just fit in as a team. You know, you really don't play the game for yourself, you play it for your teammates. And I know it's an honor and uh, I'm humbled by it. And I want to thank those guys for, you know, being, letting me be a part of that team. We didn't have the awards when I, when I was playing. You know, we didn't have the Jim Tharp and anything like that. So you just played and you went out. If you made All-America, you made All-America. And other than that, that's all you had. So this is my first experience. So this is absolutely amazing to me. I got a chance to see Archie Manning. That was my first time ever seeing him. I've seen a lot of those dolls that he has. And then uh, I got a chance to sit next to a gentleman. He said he played for Tom Landry and Vince Lombardi, and one of the great coaches. And you're like, that is amazing. You know that you're in great company. And, and it's, it's even more humbling to know that, you know what, these guys have done pretty much the same thing you have. 